In this video, I will show you how haulage works in Spry Scheduler. So basically, we have a two methods for the haulage, which are using digitize or using the radius. So firstly, I would like to show you how digitize works for the haulage in Spry Scheduler. So I create the logic for, for new folder like a demo, and then I create the new rule in here. So I can set up for the source ring, which is for my pit. So I choose the all pit and then for my dump I use my dump A. So for the process I can include all process but for waste dump I just choose for the radic waste or blasted waste. For the step I can create for the add group and then I create for new digitized step. So once I click for the digitized point then I need to choose the segment code that we created before. So in this case, I can uh, choose for the around pit or and dam. So I click this one. So uh, I need to open up my uh, surface triangle. So this is my surface. So if you see that uh, my point in here uh, will be draped in my surface because I choose the snap to segment, right? So if I choose this one, click this one, and then. Uh, it will automatically uh, appear for the uh, elevation so I just click the other one so it will appear for the elevation and also for the uh, grid so the blue one is grid so I've created this one and this is just for the example of my haulage so the grid uh, if the, the grid will higher than my default grid and then the information will appear to notify uh, user so I just undo and then just create the other one or oh, this is no and then maybe I just create this one and then this one so this is just example of my uh, how let's route outside of pit and dump so after that I will connect from the, my uh, vertex to my uh, loading point so I just uh, click this one and insert step before and then I create for the centroid field in pit so it will automatically connect from my loading point to my uh, vertex or my haulage route so uh, in final I just insert step after and then destination centroid field and then add to profile so I just click in here so it will connect from my destination to my uh, haulage route so when I run the scenario or run the scheduling then if you see that uh, this is my uh, dumping point it will move and then for the uh, loading point it will automatically move so our haulage rod uh, will be fixed in here right so if you see that this one so directly connect from the loading point to uh, the, the the haulage road point so this is important for our uh, first cut or first dump because uh, it's like a stripping so the haulage uh, can uh, assume uh, using the, the the direct line but if we have a uh, uh, the final uh, of pit then our build should be uh, progress until the bottom and we cannot use that uh, method because the grid will be higher here so I will show you if we have a uh, uh, bottom of the pit process see this one it doesn't make sense if we create it or if we uh, work in that loading point and the haulage distance will be directly uh, connect from the loading point to our uh, uh, vertex so should be using that road right so that's why we have a two method in the spray so I will show you how the second way uh, of the haulage option will work in the spray okay 
so firstly we need to create uh, our uh, uh, line road uh, section like this so I've created before and if you can see that I created from the pit and the dump so the red line it's my haulage network from pit to my dump so if you see that uh, we use the vinyl ram of the pit and then vinyl ram in the dump right so after we created the line uh, all of the line in the spray so now uh, we can create the logic so I will show you how the logic work in here so we have a two in here attach and detach attach mean that uh, it cover for the pit and then detach means that it cover for the dam so I would like to show you how attach work first okay uh, and then in here we have a setup for the network attach right so we have a minimum distance the maximum distance a bearing and for the grid right so if you see that this is the distance so if I use the or I change th this value will be reflected of my radius in my uh, cat so if I create like this one 200 meters so if you see that uh, the loading point from the loading point we have a, a radius for uh, 200 meters so if I just change the small value like a hundred maybe so you see that could not find any network attach points mean that from the loading point a hundred meter from the loading point we uh, don't have the the road or the attach uh, point so if you see that this is my road that I've created before and then when I uh, set up for the hundred meters from the loading point so we cannot reach that uh, line right so it's mean that I need to uh, uh, change the value uh, more than 100 so for this case I just created for uh, 600 so they can uh, use like this so better using the, the, the small value in, in, in here but it should be covered for my or for our uh, how this road right so but not only for the distance that we can set up in this way we can set up also for the grid it means that if you see from the top view that's like a, a radius but if you see from the 3d section right they have a like a, a thickness in here a thickness means that the, 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 the grid so if I just change the value for the maximum grid like I just create this one and if you see that it's will reflect it for my thickness of my radius so that's why it's, it's really helpful when we use uh, this way uh, to our haulage model in scheduling because of if my or if our uh, staging or our pit will be go down and then we can use the grid to find uh, the, uh, the the road so if I just uh, forward to the next uh, scheduling something like this okay so if I if my loading point in here so uh, the truck will not use the the uh, direct uh, haulage network so they should be use the uh, grid of the haulage so if you see that let me let me uh, detach my surface and if you see that they cannot use this uh, directly use this road because the grid it's not a uh, cover of that uh, road right so if I just go down ok 
Okay. Okay. So I just open up my triangle again. And then if you see that if I if my loading point in here then uh, the truck should be used this road first and then going up uh, until the uh, destination or dump point so if you see that if my loading point is moved to here something like this not this like let me show you okay uh, it's still in, 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 in upper okay so just move from here to here then uh, my truck should be used this uh, road because of what why they they not use like uh, from here uh, to 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 here no because uh, we already set up for the grid so if the loading point in here then the truck uh, directly uh, connected to uh, the top so the grid will be more than one percent so we can set up for the maximum grid which is not more than one percent so like this it's like one percent right so from here to here it's one percent so that's why uh, they connected for the black line from here to here so when I move to here and then they use the one percent to here and then I just move in here and then they use the one percent in here because of if you see that uh, grid will be reflected of the uh, elevation also right so if you see if you see okay grid in here and then move in here see this one and then they use this line and then up go up and then use this line so it will be reflected with the real mine and real haulage model in the field so it also can apply it not only in pit but also we can apply it for the uh, dam so in dam we use the detach points like this and the setup is same we can create it for the minimum distance, maximum distance, and also for the grid, right? So if you see that uh, I've created the, the red, the red line, it's uh, my vinyl uh, RAM and my vinyl uh, haulage, but in the uh, uh, black one, it means that it's uh, current uh, haulage uh, distance. So if you see that uh, for the first uh, level of the dam, we only use uh, the road until this one, not this one, right? Until this one and then dam in here. Once the first layer is already full and then they will uh, move to the upper one like this uh, let me show you and then the road will be uh, move from the first point to other point right until we have a vinyl in here so if you see this one zero percent why? Because I just uh, set up the minimum grid of the uh, zero. I use this one for the second layer. And after the second layer of my dam, it's full like this. See, it's already full, right? See, it's almost full. Okay, and then it will move like this, right? So this is the third layer. So from here, vertice, and then move here, move here, move here, move here, and then 
until the vinyl of my dam so it will reflect it of our haulage in the field see this one Okay, so if you have a question, uh, please contact us in the www.mitrice.com. Thank you.